Hey everybody, it's Dean and I wanted to show you today how you can take a profile picture and crop around it to where it looks professional on a custom header similar to this. You can resize it and what I use is Microsoft Paint and PowerPoint to do that. Uh, but for now, let's go into Microsoft Paint and I know web designers are laughing at me right now and that's okay, but this is the only way that I've found or, or the simplest way for me to go ahead and crop out the background if I want that image to stand by itself. So. Uh, if you know of a better way, please let me know, but I know that most people have Microsoft Paint. It's free software. It takes a little bit of time, but it's it's not too bad, and you can have your image cropped out in just a few minutes. So, so let's go out to Microsoft Paint, and as you can see, I've got uh, my friend Dan McComas. I'm helping him crop out one of his images, and what I did early is I went in, and you want to blow this up to full size, okay, and you want to, this is your eraser. Uh, but you do want to go to full size, go to view, and as you can see, this eraser will help you trace around your image. You have to make sure using paint that it's a pretty good size image, but we're going to, so you just trace around the entire image to get some space whenever you're doing this, okay? Let's hit back, and let's go back to view, zoom out just a little bit, okay? And what I want to do now, and I'm just going to do this real quick so you can see how this works is I'm going to go back to home and I want to select I've got a choice to do a rectangular selection or a freeform selection so I'm going to hit freeform okay and I'm going to do it quick and I may make a mistake but you get the point from me doing it so click select freeform so what I want to do is go down to the bottom and start tracing around his picture and I'm going to do this really fast you want to take your time and you can do this but this is not going to be perfect but I'm just tracing around this really quickly if you take your time you can make it nice and I've already done it and took it taking my time but basically we want to crop this whole image out go down to the bottom go across and get it back to our original line now we want to go back to home select crop and you can see what that looks like now we've got a couple of spaces that we missed so let's go back to home and eraser okay and we can just erase those out okay I'm not going to do this perfect because again I've already finished it and uh, instead of wasting your time watching me erase this okay we're just going to hit this drop down save as I'm just going to use Dan's original picture uh, actually I'll use that right there that's fine but we're going to go back here and this is what the final image looks like but when we bring this in this is what the picture is going to look like good size picture but we want to go to color set transparent color click this and you can see what the background does if it's cleaned up and I've got these little images gone this right here it's gonna look nice it'll probably you probably wouldn't notice it unless you saw it here but I can just take this and place it inside the header like so but that's how I do it uh, makes a nice image I can move it around accordingly but we've already saved his header and it looks nice but that's basically how you crop out that's how I crop out an image please give me some feedback if you've got a better suggestion but for the average person it's a pretty easy way to do it you can if this is jagged at the bottom you can crop out that particular image by going here to crop and that will do it save that as a picture and you're good to go group these together with PowerPoint and uh, you can make a nice custom header with a nice custom profile that looks professional in just a matter of minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.